So congratulations, you've reached the end to Introduction to Thermodynamics. And what I mean by that is you now know uh, uh, everything you need to know. You know the basics, you know the rules, so to speak, um, just like you know the rules to chess, and then you can become a grandmaster and do things very complicated in chess, but the rules don't change. You really know now everything you need to know about thermodynamics, and now it's just a matter of understanding how to use some of those things with different applications, different specializations within the general world of, of thermodynamics thermodynamics. I'm happy you got here to the end. It means you uh, have reasonably enjoyed uh, this set of uh, instructional and teaching videos, so that makes me uh, happy and satisfied. And if you continue in the world of thermodynamics, um, you know, uh, some generalizations uh, about where people go with these rule sets. And of course, generalizations are just that, generalizations and basic exceptions. Uh, nevertheless, uh, there's some truth to it. So two large uh, bifurcations, I think it's fair to say, is uh, engineering for mechanical engineering. So this means turbines and jets and other such things where uh, pressure and volume are changing a lot, temperature and pressure uh, are changing a lot, and the role of chemistry and molecules is somewhat secondary in that field. Another big bifurcation is thermodynamics going into the life sciences, chemical sciences, uh, and the overlap of those areas with environmental sciences. In those cases, we're often keeping chemistry, I mean, we're often keeping temperature and pressure constant, constant temperature, constant pressure. Um, so that's a, a great simplification, but those are often the way processes occur that we're interested in the life sciences or, or chemical sciences. Uh, but we do have a lot of chemistry or molecules. So those are two kind of large uh, buckets of specialization that start to differ thermodynamics as used by mechanical engineers and thermodynamics as used by life scientists, folks in chemistry. But again, uh, those are broad generalizations, full of exceptions, um, but nevertheless, they are some nice organizational bifurcations to think about the subfields of thermodynamics. So as you move forward, I hope that you'll always have on your thermodynamic glasses and everywhere you go, you will see a thermodynamic system. And this is how you will see the world around you as you advance into your further endeavors into the world of thermodynamics. It's everywhere in the universe. You just have to see it, touch it, appreciate it, and use it. Thank you. Akabu.